All right, you guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing a crazy renovation. It's a three bedroom family home, and this is what it looks like. All right, so to start this off, I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up this little flower bed thing in the front, and I'm gonna worry about the exterior after I get some of the stuff done in the interior, because in the interior is pretty big, and I got a little idea how I wanna put this together. And I should mention that this house also has a basement. All right, so here on this main floor, we got the kitchen to the back of the house. We got the living room right here in the middle, and then we got a little dining room. So with this kitchen, this is a pretty big kitchen so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna just go ahead and remove this wall right here um these older cabinets definitely gotta go and i got a crazy idea how i want to set this up so over here in this space i'm gonna build a little rectangle and place these double tile cabinets on this back wall i'm gonna place one on that side and then one on this side over here we're gonna do four cabinets so we're gonna do two there and then two here in the middle i'm gonna place a stove but i don't think i want to do a regular stove so i'm gonna just place a cabinet there and place a cooktop on top of it and as you guys can see this is a pretty big kitchen and it's tall walls in here so i'm definitely gonna do double stack cabinets or oh, i need to slide that cabinet over i'm gonna just grab the little half a tall cabinets and stack them on top of this on both sides and over here and then right here in the middle i'm gonna just stick one of these full tile cabinets and you guys obviously know the refrigerator will go there so we'll slide that in there and in this space over here we definitely gonna keep that as a back door but i want to add an archway so it's gonna be like a little hallway to get to the back door all right so in the middle we're gonna do a pretty good size island and it's gonna be three cabinets on, on both sides oh and i just messed up that then right here in this space i'm gonna just go ahead and move this stuff slide this out the way and i need to go upstairs so i can get a direct view of how i want to set this up okay so up here three bedrooms up here and these are pretty big bedrooms to be just regular bedrooms so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove this bed and this little furniture draw a wall down that like that and remove this floor and then place some fence in here and remove that window this will be the direct space spot for the new fireplace and then i'll just run that all the way up to the upstairs okay so now that we got that figured out what i want to do is i want to have like little shelving in the middle on each side so let me just remove this window and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about all right so right here on this end i'm gonna build a square and then i'm gonna come down here to this side and build another square right here and for this dining room i may keep these archways here i'm not sure but i'm gonna just slide them over for now until i figure it out and paint them black for now and this is what i was talking about i want to add shelves in between here so i'm gonna do maybe three rows of these shelves and we're gonna do that on both sides and underneath those shelves i'm gonna place a cabinet well two cabinets it's on both sides and I'm not done with this kitchen quite yet. So in this kitchen space, I'm gonna place a cabinet here and another one on the front of that. And we just gonna run that down and then stick the island cabinets on the back of that. Should I do it three? Okay, maybe we'll make this a little bit bigger. That's pretty much gonna be our kitchen layout. I'm not done with the kitchen yet, but I wanna get like my layout put together. And right here at the entrance space, they got this little archway here going down into the basement. And then back there, I'm not sure what that is. That's just like, I guess a little area to place coats and stuff when you first come in, but i'm definitely going to change this out you still will be able to play stuff in here but this is going to be now in a new laundry room so i'm going to just remove this stuff out of here and should i build a wall or should i just leave it open like this i think i'm gonna build a wall for now i'll decide later on if i'm gonna remove it or not but since this is the laundry room i'm not gonna place a door here i'm gonna just place an archway the archway is a little bit too big all right that one right there is perfect and then you got a little bathroom right here a little half a bathroom there will be two ways into this half a bathroom uh and i'm thinking about should i place that archway thing back right here how should we set this up right here i don't know i think i might just put that archway back right there for now until i decide how i want to set this up all right so up here i'm not really going to change too much other than what i did right here and i'm noticing it's only one bathroom up here so what i'm thinking is we remove some of this little furniture right here and turn this space right here into another bathroom and what i'll do is i'll just slide that over which i'm going to change out all the doors and pull this out so you'll be able to enter it from right here now that i pretty much got my layout together in the interior before I start painting and adding floors and all that, I'm gonna just go ahead and work on this exterior. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put some new roof patterns on this roof and on this little garage. And then I'm looking at this right here. You can't place a window here because how high they got this raised up. So I'm gonna just lower this down one and lower the other side down one. Definitely gonna switch out these windows. And I'm probably just gonna use the average and hottie windows because I haven't used them in a while. So I'll probably place on one here. And this is that bathroom right here. So I'll just place a little window right there. And we'll do maybe three these in this room and then down here in this dining room space they have some real big windows down here so what i'm gonna do is use these large naughty windows down here so i'll place one here two in the front and then one on the side all right and for the front door should we go with this front door and slide that window down that's a pretty wide front door
portal. Let's just see how this is gonna look in first person. Okay, it don't look that bad. All right, so on the X here, we're going back with siding. Um, I'm probably gonna use it in this dark gray color and I'll just run that all the way around the house. And I just noticed that they got this roof back here turn to the side so we're just gonna go ahead and just fix that real quick and turn it around and pull it down away we're gonna switch out all those other windows as we go to those rooms all right in this backyard they kind of got like a little mess back here this doesn't even look like landscaping this just looks like somebody threw something down so i'm gonna just remove this stuff add some fresh grass all the way around spray some dirt in this little crack up front and i'm looking at these little ugly skinny columns i'm definitely gonna remove those we're just gonna go ahead and switch all them out and go with something a little more modern um, maybe we'll go with something like this i'm probably just gonna change this up and go back with white i'm not sure but i definitely think these columns right here look 10 times better than those other ones all right so now the debate is do i go with white fencing or do i go with black fencing not even for long i'm kind of digging the black fencing all right so now i'm gonna add the black railing here and paint this garage the same color as the house now that we got the exterior complete, I feel like we should just go ahead and remove the rest of this little furniture and stuff out this entire house. And I'm going to just have to remove everything one by one because I don't want to remove the windows that I already placed and have to replace them. All right, so we got all that furniture and stuff out of this upstairs space. Now we can move back downstairs and finish up this kitchen. And here I'm going to place the sink in this island. And I think I want to do two sinks in this kitchen. I don't know how most big houses have two sinks. Um, and we're doing two islands, so I might as well just go ahead and do two sinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that cabinet, remove that one, place another full tile cabinet here. And we're going to be doing the double stack oven bill hack so i'm gonna place that there raise this up a few times place another cabinet right up underneath it and then grab this stove and place right up under there all right so i was thinking that i shouldn't do two dishwashers but at the same time i really want to y'all drop down in the comment section let me know do you, i think i should do two dishwashers or not but i'm gonna place those two there on this big open wall back here i'm just gonna simply place a window let's see how this will look without having that wall there so what i'll do is i'll move those and then i'll just build little walls on the corner like this for the dining room and i know that's not centered but you guys get what i'm trying to do right here and i wish i could do the same thing right here but you can't obviously place two of those walls there so what i'm gonna do is just probably leave this the way it is all right so we definitely gonna go ahead and change out this staircase and this ugly stair railing i'm not sure if i want to do this in white or black or use a different stair railing all together but i'm gonna just place this here for now um run this plain but pretty paint swatch all throughout the whole house and i'm gonna paint in this dining room a different color i was thinking about using this black color but i noticed that this black doesn't have white baseboards on it so i'm gonna just go with the gray for the floors in here i'm gonna use use the whole worldwide plank wood floors but i'm not going to use it in that dark wood color that i always use i always use this dark brown wood color this time right here i'm gonna go a little lighter this is not like a brownish it's like a light burgundish like color with a brown tint to it i'm not really sure but i'm definitely sure that this is not all the way brown i'm gonna run that all the way through and i'm probably gonna run that in the upstairs space too and since we're doing that color i'm definitely gonna switch up the staircase i just feel like this doesn't match well with it so should we do something like that or uh is that the same color that's a little darker looks like well you can't really tell it looks like the same color okay so i guess we're gonna go with that maybe oh and i like this stair railing right here way better with that now i'm trying to decide what do i do with this fireplace i'm trying to think of what color i want to go with around this let's just look at some different colors okay that looks pretty decent i just hate the fact that it has a baseboard on it uh, we could still go with this doesn't look bad but colors are definitely off well we could do something like that i'm not sure all right so y'all drop down in the comment section right here y'all drop down either one two or three i'm gonna just leave it as three in this video and i know i'm not gonna be able to finish this house up in this video right here so y'all drop down in the comment section which fireplace color we should go with all right so on the end of this island i want to do a bill hack so i'm gonna just grab these little wood blocks blow them up raise it up once and just simply slot it in there using free placement like that and i'm gonna just have to repeat that process maybe three times and boom now that's completed and whichever tile we decide to use around this fireplace in the next video i'll be using that as a backsplash in the kitchen but for now i'm just gonna place this one in the kitchen and i'm not even gonna lie that tile doesn't look bad in this kitchen and i know we gotta fix this right here i'm definitely gonna fix this when i'm finished but as you place things this will disappear every time so i'm gonna just wait till i'm finished downstairs in this fireplace i'm gonna just go ahead and place this glass 
glass here in the middle raise the platform up on the inside of the egg like out the inside and i'm gonna stick this gravel flooring in the bottom so now when you look on the inside that's what you'll see all right so to this island i'm gonna go ahead and place some bar stools but i want these bar stools to actually match the floors and then stick some lights above this little island and i'm gonna just slide on over here to this half a bathroom we just gonna dress this up a little bit move this little stuff out of here since this is a little half a bathroom i'm just gonna place these little brown tile floors in here grab this little small vanity stick right there and then place this little black mirror above it and then the toilet right beside that and above that toilet i'm gonna do two immaculate shelvings and then on this back wall this looks a little plain so i'm gonna just stick this little tile back here as an accent wall all right now this is the laundry room space i'm gonna just go ahead and remove those ugly windows and doors so i'm gonna stick this nice little white mega door here and then i'll figure out where i'm gonna put the windows at after i lay the laundry room out in the laundry room i wanted to use different cabinets but i feel like there's nothing that's as close to these cabinets that's in the kitchen so i'm gonna just use these i'm gonna run one there one here and then a corner cabinet in the middle so i need to slide that door down just a little bit and then i'll wash her go here and then dry her right here <laughs> and i need to slide that back oh and that fits perfectly okay and then on this back wall over here we'll place three cabinets i'm gonna do a bill hack in here so i'm gonna just take this sink raise it up once slide it in there like that and then stick two immaculate shelvings above it but we could probably actually do three put a cabinet here a cabinet here and then just like in the kitchen do the double stack and i'm gonna raise the immaculate shelvings up just a little bit and that same process will repeat over here above the washer and the dryer well not above them because i'm gonna stick immaculate shelvings above them and it's gonna be hard to do this little corner cabinet over here because you can't do double stack with this unless i do it like this but this is gonna be real ugly i could do it like this and i don't look too bad all right so what i'm gonna do here is place two immaculate shelvings and then a half a tile right there and then the same thing on this well on this side right here maybe i'll just remove that half a tile cabinet and place a full tile cabinet and then i'm thinking do we do the same backsplash that we use in the kitchen in here or do we do that little tile that we did in that half a bathroom in here yeah i'm not even gonna lie, i like that tile a little better in here and above this fireplace i'm gonna just go ahead and stick the tv all right you guys but that is it for part one of this i definitely got to do this in two parts because the time is running up and you only get 60 minutes to record on the playstation so what i'm gonna do is finish decorating down here in the next video and start on this upstairs and basically try to get this whole thing complete in the next video so y'all stay tuned for that drop a like on this video share this video subscribe to my channel press that notification bell and the link to my amazon storefront is down in the description and hold up i'm gonna just give you guys a little first person view of this okay so that's what the exterior looks like so far boom walk in oh i like the way this looks okay so we got the little entrance we got the little staircase right there thinking about changing those um those stairs i don't really like that all right so right here we got the dining room the living room with the little opening right there oh and the kitchen looks fire i definitely gotta fix that oven i'm gonna fix that in the next video got the kitchen right here and then you got this little walkway through here to this little area to go out to the patio and i'm gonna be fixing all this stuff in the next video um definitely gonna change out that door that's an ugly door now let's go over here to the laundry room and that half a bathroom okay i'm not even lying this archway right here doesn't look bad at all so i'm definitely gonna keep that boom we're gonna first stop at this little half a bathroom looks pretty good and now on to this laundry room i'm not even lying this has to be one of my best laundry room designs so far got this sink over here in the laundry room with some cabinets i might just take that let's just take this little top of macaron shelving from there and place a half a tile cabinet i feel like that's gonna look way better okay i should have pulled those immaculate shelvings down a little bit but it's all right but i feel like that looks way better with the half a tile cabinet and then over here we got the washer right here and then the dryer right there and then we got a little back door to go out to the oh wait, is this another patio i'll oh, notice the same one and that's the entrance that's another entrance to half a bathroom all right you guys but like i mentioned drop down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think of part one and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video